guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. We just got back from Minnesota late last night. I am up this morning. I got a full night of sleep. Go outside, Moomers. We're hanging with the puppies. I have to put that pillowcase on the couch and Daisy's insisting on sitting on that. So like her. So yes, good morning. It is Sunday. I am having just a really chill Sunday today. As I said, we were traveling the past few days, so I love coming home on a Sunday or a Saturday night and having all Sunday to rest and get everything together. Main thing today, we need to do some grocery shopping and also I want to get some work stuff done. But other than that, I want to have a nice chill day today to set me up for the week because life has been crazy lately. I'm just waiting for my brunch to arrive. I am so hungry and I've been craving Eggs Benedict. So we got some brunch sent to the house because we have no food in the fridge. I'm just getting some work stuff done. I'm going to work till the food comes and I'll show you guys when it arrives because I'm hungry. All right, breakfast or brunch has arrived. Ooh, we got the churro French toast and then I got my Eggs Benedict. Ooh, they give you a little Tapatio packet. Oh my goodness, that looks fantastic. Hi guys, good morning, it's the next morning. I'm wearing the exact same outfit. I have not changed since yesterday, but hello. Yesterday I had a really chill Sunday. As I said, I got to cleaning the house a bit. I learned to clean my house Sunday night before I wake up on Monday morning because it's so nice to walk down and have a nice clean house in the morning. Oh, let me show you what I did over here. All right, so I went through and organized all these shelves over here. These are an overflow of glasses. So I have like Erwan juice glasses, Erwan soup glasses. We've got like Mellow Mellow glasses. Glasses, just things that I want to save and reuse. These are all outdoor dining things, so like outdoor cups, outdoor plates. Basically, if you want to go outside and eat plastic things so you don't break them outdoors. And in this one, I put all of our reusable water bottles, reusable tumblers, things like that to just grab and take on the go. But it's so nice to have this extra storage now because I've been needing it for so long. Now I'm up hanging with the pups, making some coffee. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. You are so cute. So the big thing on my to-do list today is to clean my closet. I've been wanting to do this for so long, like a real deep, deep clean, like go through everything. I have so many pieces in my closet. Don't mind my crazy hair right now, by the way. I have so many pieces in my closet that I have not worn in years that just don't fit me anymore. Things that I just don't reach for anymore because it's not really my style anymore. So I'm gonna do a deep, deep, deep clean of the closet and then clear space for a bunch of new things that I got. I'm making myself a latte with my Nut Pods chocolate creamer. It is so delicious. So we're gonna froth this. I need to get out of this shirt. As much as I love the Lakers, this mustard color is, does not look good on me. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. It's from Living Proof. Living Proof, if you're watching this, please send me another mug because I cherish this thing with my whole heart. It's just so cute and like comfortable to hold and little. Either like a little mug or a giant mug. All right, we got our double espresso. Also, I did not go grocery shopping yesterday, so I'll need to do that today for sure. I realized I did a level five froth, but I like a level one froth. Okay, there we go. So good. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we had these in the fridge, so I'm gonna slice this up and cook it up with some eggs and have some breakfast, and then we're gonna get to cleaning. I can't. They're so cute. All right, guys, breakfast is served. It does not look good at all, but it's gonna taste delicious. Gonna put on some yellow bird habanero. I'm just gonna put in the middle and dip. But we've got my chicken apple sausage, two eggs, and a piece of gluten-free toast with my coffee. Oh, I forgot to add stevia to it. So I added some stevia. And that is breakfast. All right, I've changed from one t-shirt to another t-shirt. This is what the room is looking like right now. It's pretty bad, but it's definitely seen worse. But I'm going to begin this whole closet clean out by going through all of my drawers, all of my closet, and pulling out things that I no longer wear. So yes, that is top of the list, and I'll keep you guys updated throughout. Also charging my iPad so that I can watch Heart of Dixie while I clean. And we'll get to all of this after. I was wondering where all my towels are. I see one there, one there, one there, one there. Makes sense, huh? Yeah, she's queued up. Let's go.
<laughs> Updates guys, we've made major moves. I had some lunch, I had a quick little Zoom meeting, and then now I'm back. We have all these bags back there. There's like, what is that, like six bags or so of different clothes and things. Very exciting. I've been meaning to do this for so long and it just feels so nice and fresh. And then in here, we have significantly less things now. I still have far too many clothes for one body, but we have about half as much as before, which is much better. So I did keep all my cropped athletic jackets here because I love to wear them like around my waist or you know while I'm working out or something. And this section now I'm gonna make down here all of my little athletic tank tops and like crop tops that I like to wear. And then up there will be all my tennis skirts. Here are sports bras. We have leggings in this one and this is all flared leggings now before I had so many more different colored leggings and things. And then we have plain black yoga pants here and then down here we have bras and then little booty shorts and sweat shorts. And then over here we have athletic shorts and shirts and things to go on top of athletic clothes. So it just looks so much better. Also organize my sweatshirts and things. Up here we have all of my cropped cotton sweatshirts. And then these two before were overflowing with like sweatpants and sweatshirts. Now I just have plain black sweatpants here. And then I got rid of so many that I don't actually wear anymore. And everything's just looking much better. So the purging part is done. I also moved all of my big coats and things that were there because I am not wearing coats right now. And I'm gonna change over this clothing rack to all of my summery dresses and things that I'm wearing way more frequently. So it's just making a lot more sense in here, but the purging part is over. Now time to tackle all that and tackle all the clean laundry. Hello all, I'm back. I've been at this for over, over, I sound like I was from Minnesota. I've been at this for over six hours and I'm about 75% done or so. Also, very casually, I am currently texting Megan Trainer to come on Pretty Basic. Yes, you heard that right. I am texting Megan Trainer to come on Pretty Basic. I am absolutely unwell. You guys know I'm a super fan. I'm trying to contain myself, but here we go. Things are looking way more organized. This is now filled with summer dresses and things to wear, things to wear to Pretty Basic, things to film in, casual clothes. Over here, I'm hanging up my skirts now. I will link these down below. I got these awesome little clips. They're from not even gonna try. And you just put them onto your felt hangers and then they make it able to hang up skirts or pants or whatever. So I'm hanging up my tennis skirts on these. Just sorted through all the laundry, so I have to put this away and then I'm pretty much done. Woo, finally. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. I took out all my extensions last night because they started to grow out a lot and the glue was getting really sticky. So I'm just gonna give my hair a little break for the next couple weeks until I go back to get it colored because I haven't colored it in about six months, maybe a little longer now. And I need to gloss the top to kind of match the rest of this. And then I wanna do a little bit of light highlighting just to add some fun for summer. But yes, I spent all day cleaning yesterday, seriously, like until 7 p.m. or so. And then after that, I was pooped. So I just watched The Bachelorette or Bachelorette. Then I did a little reading and went to bed. So let me show you guys what I did. I am up right now and about to get ready to go to a tennis lesson. And look at this beautiful cabinet now. Up on the top are athletic skirts. And then these are my athletic like crop tops. And then you guys saw sports bras, leggings, bras, and regular like athletic stuff. But how cute is this now? Now it's so easy for me to pick out an outfit to wear, but I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna hit the town. I'm gonna stop at Trader Joe's and then go to my tennis lesson. All right guys, here's the tennis outfit of the day. I made an order on this brand called Halara, H-A-L-A-R-A. -A -A. I got an Instagram ad for it and Alicia got a skirt from it and it was really cute on her. So I wanted to make an order. So this is like a little crop top and a little skirt, but they match. And I love this little like skirt overlay thing that ties. So cute. It also wasn't too expensive, which I very much appreciate. So yeah, let's go down and make some matcha. Okay guys, I got this machine that I set up last night that is absolutely unnecessary, but I am stupid excited about it because as much as I love coffee, I'm a matcha girl at heart. I love matcha so much. Matcha lattes, matcha hot, matcha iced. I'm definitely feeling an iced moment right now, but look at this thing. Again, from an Instagram ad. You do not need this, by the way. I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm just very excited about it. So this thing is called, oh, also, please don't mind. My neighbors are always doing like crazy yard work early in the morning. It's called Kuzin Matcha. And basically up here in this hopper, I put dry matcha leaves, like whole matcha leaves. And as we all know, matcha already has so many health benefits, but apparently when it's freshly ground, it's even even better for you. It came with this little cup. I'm gonna fill it up to this line with water. All right, then I put this thing into here. Make sure it's lined up. I hit how many shots I want, either one, one and a half, or two. I'm tired, so I'm doing two. You hit start. It whisks the water in, and then it's gonna grind the matcha leaves and just ever so gently, do you see that whisk in fresh 
matcha in there. It's so cool. Also, I decided we'll go to Trader Joe's after tennis because I don't have time to bring everything back and put it in the fridge, so we'll just stop on the way home. Also, I've learned before tennis, I need to have a full breakfast. If I go to the gym or I'm like weight training, I like to not eat because I get kind of sicky after. But with tennis, I am ravenous because I'm running around so much, so I need to eat breakfast before I go. She is still dispensing. All right, our matcha is done. Here we go, pour it into some iced water. Oh my goodness. Now you can add milk to this and make it a latte, but as I said, I'll drink matcha literally anyway. I can just chug this. It tastes like I got it from like an authentic Japanese restaurant. Ah, uh, it's so good. Oh my God, this might be the best matcha I've ever had. It's not bitter at all. It's got like a really full bodied flavor. That is so good. I'm gonna drink so much matcha now. 10 out of 10 recommend. Little bit of a brain freeze, woo! All right, still working with little to no groceries. I promise today is the day. I've just been really lazy and recovering from traveling. So luckily I've got these things to make breakfast. If I had more things, it would be even better, but it's fine. I sliced up a chicken apple sausage really small and I'm gonna I brown this. I also already heated these up. I've yet to try them, but I'm very excited. I love me a grain-free tortilla. I love the Siete brand so much, but the Siete ones are pretty big. They have like the burrito size and they have the regular size, which are still too big, I think, for like little mini tacos. So I'm so excited. This brand, Cayotas, they sent me their cassava flour tortillas and their little baby mini ones, if you can see. They're grain-free, gluten-free, vegan, and paleo. All that's in here is cassava flour, water, coconut oil, and sea salt. They sound delicious, so I'm doing two. Honestly, I might want one more because they're so little. I'm gonna do one more. All I did was I just heated it up on the pan and then flipped it after like 10, 15 seconds. I'm gonna finish cooking this and then I'll heat up one more, but I'm just gonna brown this, crack a couple eggs in there, scramble it all together, and then put it on my tortillas. All right, they look a little messy. I'm gonna add on some hot sauce. If I also had like some vegetables to grill, like maybe some onions, some bell peppers, some avocado, I could do like some sort of crema on top, but I don't have the time nor the ingredients. But also this is the sauces that I I used Trader Joe's sweet apple chicken sausage. This one's really, really good. I really like it. But that is breakfast, people. Let's do a taste test. I do not understand what my neighbors could be doing so loud at 8 a.m. in the morning, but it's fine. All right, little taco, little hot sauce. These are like little two biters. Mmm, fantastic. 10 out of 10. So good. Yep. Hi guys, okay, tennis lesson went well. I can feel myself getting progressively better, which is very exciting. We are now at Trader Joe's. I'm still in my tennis outfit. People are staring at me vlog, that's okay. We've got a lot of stuff to get, so let's go. I also need a shop for not only like our fridge to fill up our entire fridge, but also for cooking with Remy. So we've got lots of things to get. These are so cool. They're called pin cushions. Look at these, they're called unicorn gypsophila. Gypsoph gypsophila? The rainbow. Oh my God, I have to get the rainbow. Okay, we've got a very full cart. There's a few things that I need that they don't have here. So we're gonna go to Gelson's later. Okay, just got home. Gonna do a quick little grocery haul before I run out. Overview haul. We've got plain bagels for Cal. We got some plums, some lemons, donut nectarines. Donut peaches are my favorite, but I wanted to give these a try. We've got some avocados, Brussels sprouts, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You guys know with the slapping. Some sockeye smoked salmon. We've got rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. We've got maple turkey breast. I saw these on TikTok and I wanted to try and make them for like a little Mediterranean bowl. Shawarma chicken thighs, please don't mind. Momo's crying. Daisy went to the vet to get her stitches out so she's all alone. Mommies, come here. Come here, chicken. It's okay. Oh my God, she's so cute. Okay, we've got sourdough bread for sandwiches. That's for Cal as well. I got some ground beef for cooking with Remy tomorrow. Already did those. Raspberries, cherries, tomatoes. Yes, I have a bunch of tomatoes in the garden. My dad took so many of them though. He took all the big ones. So I got these Campari ones just to have if I want a little bit of a larger tomato instead of like a cherry. Organic romaine lettuce. We got two packs of baby lettuce for salads. We got butter lettuce. We got kale. And then we got spinach. And then also this broccoli and kale slaw salad 
world is delicious. Persian cucumbers, because my cucumbers are growing, but they're very slow. Plantain croutons, these are so good. They add some nice crunch to a salad. Vegan tzatziki dip for our little uh, Mediterranean bowls. Garlic dip. Momo! My chicken, she'll be back soon. No crying, no crying. Bananas, two bunches of bananas. Everything but the bagel chips, white truffle chips, beef broth. We've got, <gasps> they brought back the sweet chili sauce. This is still my favorite one to ever exist, so I'm so excited. And some peaches, and that is the haul. I'm gonna put everything away. Hi guys, updates. Found this tea that I wanna drink, mango passion fruit tea. It's caffeine free, so I can drink it at night, which sounds amazing. And then I also just picked up some random like juice things to make a smoothie thing for tomorrow. I'm eating one of these donut nectarines and it is delicious. I like these because you can just bite around. Oh, I worked in the garden for like two hours. I cleaned up all my tomatoes because it was just getting crazy out there. Chopped a bunch of those, tended to the garden. Finally took a shower. I was so dirty from the garden. Like I literally had dirt all over my body. Now I'm gonna work on all my flowers back here. They've just been sitting in this water, staying fresh for the day, but I'm gonna put my arrangements in the kitchen. I put one over there. I put one in the office and then one upstairs. And I am tired. I feel like I have not had a minute to sit down all today, but I'm very excited because tonight Mia and Jerry are coming over and we're doing a little double date. We're doing Korean barbecue at home, so I need to find the grill. And yes, I'm gonna watch Heart of Dixie and arrange my flowers. I'm on season three now. Updates, finish the flowers. They look so good. I just got off the phone chatting with Eli. They look beautiful. These are going into the office because I knew Wit and Sarah would like them. And Sarah was over at the house today and she saw me walk in with these and she was like, those are so pretty. I was taking photos of them and I was like, I know my girls. I know what they like because we all like the same stuff. So these are going in the office. I should have gotten two bundles. These are three bundles. They're a little squished in there, but that's okay. Blue hydrangeas are for the kitchen. White hydrangeas are for upstairs. Pink roses I'm gonna put over there. Yes, I know that hydrangea petals are really dangerous for dogs, but I put them in areas where the petals won't fall on the ground and they can eat them. So, in case you didn't know, hydrangea petals are very bad for dogs. So, make sure you're aware and I'm constantly cleaning them and making sure everything's clean always. Don't worry. Oh, also I'm washing some rice. I'm cooking a bunch of rice for tonight as well as for my Cooking with Remy episode I'm doing tomorrow. Make sure you wash your rice, people. If you don't, you're doing it wrong. There was just a knock at the door and look what was dropped off. Crumble cookie. I got some crumble cookies for dessert tonight because Mia loves crumble cookies as do I. I will say the sweet Postmates did leave them on my front porch flipped over. So they're a little messy, but you know what? It all ends up in the same place. It is so fine. I'm also really sad because the one flavor that I really wanted to try this week was all out. It's like a raspberry pop tart thing. And if there's one thing about me, I fuck with the pop tart and toaster strudel. We have chocolate chip, like some sort of lemon cake. These are chocolate toffee and this is double chocolate or something like that. I don't know. I like to nibble and try them occasionally for like a fun event like tonight. Also, these arrived at my house, which I'm very excited to try. If you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs, I have been trying to live a more gluten-free and dairy-free life. Not 100% at all, not even close to it. But I've just been trying to find more gluten and dairy-free options. But if I'm gonna have it, it's gonna be something good like crumble or these sound fantastic. These are grass fed butters, which are one of the best that you can possibly have. They're from the brand called Churn. Oh, it's family owned. That's so cute. It is gluten free, obviously not dairy free, but I still want to try them. And these are cute little butters with different flavoring and they look fantastic. Cal's also gonna really eat these. This is the everything flavor. So there's like, what is this? Garlic, onion, poppy, sesame, caraway, and sea salt. This one is garlic and shallot. This one is truffle, which sounds delicious and then cacio e pepe. All sound fantastic and I feel like they'd be good with, oh my God, with pasta, on toast, whatever. I also ordered these new shoes thinking that my wide feet wouldn't fit at all and they do and I'm so happy. They're like the perfect little summer shoe. Don't look at my toes, you weirdos. If you're gonna put this on wiki feet, leave now. Okay, Cal and I set up dinner. I'm putting one of these cans by Jerry's side because he always drinks a can when he comes over. And this is our spread. Oh, I need to make the salad still and get the lettuce. Oh my God, I have so much to do. But I just ordered from the local Korean barbecue place. We've got garlic pork belly, beef brisket, and then short ribs here. Ah! Oh no! We've got all the sides. We've got kimchi, potato salad, rice paper, oi kimchi, which is cucumber kimchi, brisket sauce, 
sesame oil. I'm using paper plates and red solo cups because I don't want to do any more dishes tonight. So we broke out the party supplies, but it's looking good. I need to prep the lettuce and the salad and then we're done. Hi guys. Okay, we finished our movie night. Mia and Jerry just went home. I'm so sorry. I should have vlogged with them. I always get so overwhelmed when people are coming over to be a host and like make sure everything's good. But it was so nice to see them and Cal, oh, I should keep my voice down. Cal's sleeping right now. But it was so nice to see them. Cal's already going to bed currently because he has work early in the morning and I need to go to bed because I have a 7 a.m. tennis lesson in the morning and then I'm shooting cooking with Remy. So yes, on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I did the BBL wave. Bye. <laughs>